Ed China is a mechanic, a TV personality, an adventurer, and a holder of a Guinness World Record. Ed is best known for his DIY wizardry and his part on Wheeler Dealers on the Discovery Channel. But he has also made appearances on a number of other shows, including Fifth Gear, Top Gear, Scrap Heap Challenge, and Auto Trader. But his performance on Wheeler Dealers made him a fan favorite. In today's video, we are going to talk about Ed China's luxurious lifestyle and how he likes to spend his money. If you want to know all about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. And let's get started. Edward John China, who was born on May 9, 1971, received his early education at the King Edward School, Whitley, and Siri. Following his success with the driving sofa, he went on to earn a degree in engineering product design from London South Bank University. Without a question, Ed is brilliant, and his wizardry is what has made him rich. Let's look at some of the fascinating information about his life, including his net worth, his houses, and more. Ed China rose to prominence after his breathtaking college project of a driving sofa. His knack for autos is always on full display, and he eventually got the chance to test his skills when he built the driving sofa to raise money for a Rayleigh International Expedition to Belize. As a result, he got his first job right after his education at London South Bank. As a result, Ed's effort provided him with the exposure he needed in the auto sector, and in 1994, he was hired as a special effects technician for Father Ted. After a few years, Ed rode the driving sofa at the Silverstone Live Arena for a guest appearance on Top Gear Live. That same year, Ed and his driving sofa were also featured on Jeremy Clarkson's DVD, which is the most outrageous Jeremy Clarkson video in the world, ever. Following this, Ed drove the sofa, TV box standard, and street sleeper for three appearances on Channel 4's The Big Breakfast throughout the years. When Ed made a guest appearance on the episode of The Scrap Heap Challenge, also known as Junkyard Wars in the US, which featured driving beds and sofa automobiles, his career took off. China was discussed in a This Is Your Life show that same year. China operated the driving sofa to transport television presenter Michael Aspel to the television studios during this show. After his tour on all major TV shows, Ed got a resident designer offer on the BB series Panic Mechanic. He was also a guest on Top Gear Build a Bond Car on a Budget, where he showcased a Rover 800 purchased for $220 that had been modified with gadgets such as an ejection seat for just $110. Then in 2005, Ed became a celebrity guest on BBC's Ready Steady Cook for children and co-hosted the short-lived Auto Trader TV series, which Discovery Channel screened in 2007. Additionally, Ed appeared as a guest on The Culture Show before he, Penny Mallory, Tony Mason, and Alex Riley presented a television miniseries for the United Kingdom called Classic Car Clubs for Discovery Channel that explored the history and culture of classic cars and was targeted at classic car enthusiasts. The fact that Discovery Channel hired Ed and Mike Brewer in 2003 to create the new auto series Wheeler Dealers is evidence that Ed's achievements in the auto sector weren't ignored. The show became Ed and Brewer's most well-known television production as a result of Ed's ability to keep viewers hooked to their seats as he unleashed his talents on each job. Even while not everyone was familiar with Ed prior to his association with Discovery Channel, his work speaks for him. However, after 15 years of co-presenting Wheeler Dealers, Ed and Brewer decided to part ways on March 21, 2017, due to a disagreement over the show's discretion. During his departure from the show, Ed stated, Yes, I'm afraid it's true, and I'm really sorry after 13 years of making Wheeler Dealers, I'm now going to be leaving the show. Ed further announced on his YouTube channel that he would leave Wheeler Dealers as he and the show's producers disagree on a term. After leaving the show, he made another video on his YouTube channel narrating how Brewer left him to explain that his fans were threatening him and his family because they believe he made Ed leave the show. 
Ed pleaded with his fans not to resort to cyberbullying and promised he would start his own series on YouTube in 2018. Ed fulfilled his promise to his fans as he premiered his new series, Ed China's Garage Revival, on his YouTube channel. He started uploading videos of his exploits on the channel, which boosted his subscribers. In the first episode of his show, Ed traveled to Norway to help a client complete his project. In the second episode of his show, he teamed up with many car owners to work on a Series 1 Jaguar E-Type from 1968. Ed clearly knows how to carry his fans along, so he ensures his fans get to see every step of the projects he's working on. So we can say that Ed has been concentrating on serving his fans premium content on his YouTube channel while running his junky garage business. Now we know that Ed has had a swell time featuring in most of the popular auto series, and due to his fame, he must have made a fortune through his career in the industry. Undoubtedly, Ed earned big during his time at Wheeler Dealers, with close to $100,000 in annual payments. And he's estimated to have a net worth of $3 million as of 2023. So let's talk about how Ed managed to grow his net worth and where he likes to spend his millions. Ed grew his net worth with his business Comfy Banana Limited and Grease Junkie Limited. After obtaining expertise as a special effects technician on the well-known comedy series Father Ted, Ed started his first company, Comfy Banana. Later on, Ed established his second business, Grease Junkie, which offers goods including t-shirts, a Phillips pen light, extra link gloves, signed books, and Wheeler Dealers signed postcards. In addition to all of these, Ed also makes money via his YouTube channel. Ed is a wealthy mechanic who understands what it is to live an opulent lifestyle. He and his family reside in a gorgeous mansion with the newest home security, a contemporary kitchen, and roomy bedrooms and baths. Ed's house is said to be worth millions of dollars, and being an auto person, Ed didn't disappoint when it comes to the beauties occupying his garage. The V8 Range Rover, an L322 Casual Lofa, a driving sofa, and a 1914 V8 Cadillac are just a few of Ed's favorite vehicles in his garage. A motorized washroom and a bathtub automobile that Ed built from scratch are noteworthy additions to this. Now, when you're rich, you definitely have a unique wardrobe, and Ed's pictures are also littered all over the internet, shows emphasizing his fashion sense. He wears the finest clothing designers for all occasions, and also has impeccable taste in timepieces. He has a fantastic collection of watches, including Rolex and Patek Philippe. When he released the book Grease Junkie, a book of moving parts, two years ago, Ed took a further step to increase his net worth. It became one of the top sellers after his book topped the UK sales charts. Hopefully, Ed will be able to publish another amazing book like this one, where he discussed wanting to break the speed record for an electric ice cream van at 70 miles per hour. Talking about his personal life, the public is unable to fully understand how Ed spends his money due to his secretive lifestyle, but he appears to be more of an investor than a spender. Celebrities rarely avoid the inquisitive eyes of their admirers, but Ed seems to be an exception. However, what we do know about his private lifestyle is his longtime lover, Imogen. Imogen holds a master's degree in business economics and had previously worked for a number of businesses before joining Ed's. Additionally, Imogen gained notoriety during her employment as a VIP relations manager at British Airways London before landing a new position as head of external relations with two Sage businesses. She eventually joined Ed's Comfy Banana Limited as the director in 2006. Ed is reportedly married to Imogen, with no children for now, and the duo is often seen at functions and malls together. So, Ed might have left Wheeler Dealers, but his name still tops a list of those that made the show popular, all thanks to his creativity. And while the viewers of the Wheeler Dealers want Ed back on the show, he has made it known that he has moved on and a return is not possible. Still, he is living the best life and wants his fans to be happy for him. 
That's all for today. If you are interested in more, have a look at this video. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe.